Okay, so we finished the rhinoplasty, um, or the uh, staphylectomy, now we're doing the rhinoplasty. So I'm saturating some Q-tips with uh, ropivacaine with epinephrine because I can't get bupivacaine with epinephrine right now. So I just made my own little cocktail and pop those in the nose while we think and plan. And that's gonna help with pain and uh, helps a lot with hemostasis. So, <clears throat> plan is to take a wedge out and kind of do a pizza slice almost. So an incision that's vertical right here, just lateral to the nostril on this alar cartilage and then a piece at whatever reasonable angle. Usually I end up doing about 45 degrees or something and that's going to, and then what we'll do is oppose those edges and those, those cuts are going to be straight in. So we're gonna take out like a Toblerone shaped chunk of tissue and then we'll oppose those edges and that'll swing this inside edge of the nostril out. And that's gonna really open up that uh, entrance to that airway quite a bit. So, um, can I get some 5 aught monochrome, please? We'll use a really thin, dissolvable, uh, absorbable suture. Taper would be fine for this, yeah. And there's a precision yeah, that's also fine, either way. The biggest challenge I have on these is just making them as symmetrical as possible. Um, and Chantel, I'll probably have you help at a certain point. Um, I'll put my first suture in, leave the tails long, and have you like pull up on it. Okay. And then I can get the deep aspect a little bit more easily. Uh, okay, so... This always just takes some nerve. Feels very weird to do this. But you're really doing them a favor. Is she a little bit light? Yeah. Is she? Uh, her little uh, soft pal was twitching a little bit when I was in there too. Okay. So yeah, so we'll crank her up for just a second because this is pretty sensitive. Okay. Cool. And that's fine. I'll give her another little bit of topical anesthetic in here while we're waiting. Really make sure we're as comfortable as possible. She's still running on a bolus. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You can keep it going if she needs it. It's fine. I'm gonna go relatively quick on this. And if we need to turn her back down and she's not reacting, that's fine. This is just gonna be probably the most painful thing we do. So we'll make sure she's deeper for it. Okay. Probably go a little bit above the level at the top of the nostril and just perpendicular straight in. I usually just go about as deep as I can, cut straight down, 
try not to cut through the tissue on the underside here. And then entering it at the same point. Sometimes putting a little counter tension on the free edge there can be helpful. And then cut. And getting a nice deep chunk is fairly important. This is going to give you better results. And then you can cut the deep aspect. I just slide along that tissue till I'm at the end of it and snip. All right. And it's a pretty vascular area. It's going to bleed. But uh, once you put this first suture in and have an assistant pull up on it, it helps a lot. And the epinephrine, while it might not look like it, is doing a lot of work too. So find the kind of corner of that incision where you want that to oppose. Right there. And I try to make these as cosmetic as possible as well. There we go. Shouldn't have had extra coffee before the procedure, I suppose. Using 5 op monocryl here. I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera while I sew, so you can see. intentionally leaving this tail annoyingly long. Makes it harder to sew, but uh, make the rest of our job easier here. Okay. Well, if you'll come help me out here when you're available, keep my patient alive first, that's important. And then, yeah, you're just going to provide some upward tension on that. And that not only gives me exposure to this deeper part of the incision, but also that upward traction puts some pressure on this and provides some hemostasis, so really helpful. Clean this up so I can tell what's blood clot and what's what I did. You can see the defect isn't that bad, so I'm gonna put this deep one first. easier said than done, usually pretty, pretty easy. There we go. Let's do little interrupteds here. Get this out for a way for easier sewing. Get 
slip that to pull it down and tighten. three sutures deep. I think the tail is pretty short and with a really fine material. Shouldn't cause too much irritation. Give a little bit of slack on that. Let's see what it looks like. Let it down a little bit. You're good. Cool. That'll be good. Thank you. See if we've missed any part that needs better apposition. Maybe right there. Hey! Yeah. and try and make a match. 